my mother just sent me a picture of myself here when I was just a little boy. And as you can see, it's a picture made with an iPhone on top of one picture that she had at home uh, in Portugal. So I wanted to do some tips uh, and some new things, you know, with Gen AI that we have today, all the tools. So I start, you know, uh, optimizing the picture. And the first thing for me would be just small adjustments, like for example, to crop it and just to have a cropped image. So I remove the, the towel behind it and then I will export it and I will export it as a full size. And after exporting it, so then what I'm going to do is to optimize the picture because as you can see, uh, the resolution is not great. So the first thing is going to be convert this resolution to a high HD resolution as much as we can. So I went to uh, PixArt and then in, on PixArt you have the, all these, you know, tools that help you uh, with enhancing old pictures. And what I do, what I did is to drag and drop there and then it processed your Im image. And uh, of course you, you just have to wait a little bit, but then the result is quite good. So as you can see now, I have a much better version of my picture that I'm going to download as an HD, which is really, really huge. And as I'm going then to use Kling, um, I have to be prepared that if I want to create an AI video, this is the option on Kling. I'm using this model because it's absolutely amazing. Um, the, 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 what, what the results that it, it, it has uh, of course, there are uh, some new, new new models like VO2 from Google that are coming. Um, and of course, in Europe, we don't have access, but you can use a VPN and ask access to it. So it's up to you. And then I will share other models in upcoming videos. But what I can do now, right now is that I have to downsize the picture because it says that it should eat less than 10 megabytes. And of course, my picture will have more than 10 man by megabytes. And I will have to let's say downsize the picture. I just have to re-import it again into my library. And then I will, you know, the high resolution picture, I will just export this picture as in, instead of full size, I will use the large size, which is a smaller version, less megabytes. And this version is the one that I'm going to use on Clink. So, so far, nothing really new for you. But when it comes to the prompt, now I have to tell the prompt what I want to do. So I would like to see myself, you know, as a small myself, uh, moving or smiling as I were, what I was when I was a kid. Um, and the thing is that the prompting thing and the, uh, you know, there is this prompting engineering thing that I really, I'm not a strong believer on property engineer, honestly. I just, you just have to know and to learn how the, 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 the different models uh, work. And for me, what, what, we, well, what is a, a simple shortcut to this is to go to ChatGPT. And, and then you have, if you explore ChatGPT uh, and you explore the, the different uh, GPTs that you have, you have some um, in public GPTs. And there is one that is Kling AI Video Prompt Creator. And I just, one, I just do a drag and drop here and I tell, hey, hey, please help me out on creating a prompt to have this little kid that leaves me start moving and smile towards the camera. So as you can see, you just give them some instructions and it's going to give you some prompts to you um, that um, then you can, you can use um, for, uh, for, 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 uh, for the clink. So I just animate the child. So I just go here, which is a nice prompt for me. I'm going to clink and I'm going to paste here and I generate, I generate the new, um, let's say my young self moving 
uh, it's quite exciting because it's going to create a mix of emotions. Let's see, myself um, and my younger self at the time, there was no video cameras available like today. And see myself in motion, my baby me, emotion is going to be exciting. So it says a waiting internet of four to five minutes. So then you can, of course, you can go to standard mode, professional mode, and the duration for five, 10 seconds. So I usually go to five seconds just to test if the prompt is okay. And then if I see that the prompt is okay and the result is really good, then I can create a larger video of 10 seconds, which is uh, much great. So we just have to wait these four minutes and then we get back and let's see the result. And now the video is ready and you can see the result. We can download without watermark. And here we go. And let's see the result. So you can see my younger me from a picture that my mother sent that was low quality. You can see me emotion, uh, you know, feels weird to see myself, you know, as a little boy. It creates a lot, a lot of uh, mixed feelings, but that's fine. So now you understand the full workflow and you can animate any picture you have. You can uh, also enhance any, any picture that all picture that you have, you know, into a HD and then animate it into a video of five, 10 seconds. And this is going to of course, going uh, much further with, and in, in just in a few months, we will be able to animate, you know, the still image into even more uh, larger videos. So this was everything for today. I hope you like it and you can do it and replicate by yourself in your own pictures.